Okay, so we go. My gram sitting here enjoying a coffee in Starbucks. This is Starbucks in Fullerton Bay, Singapore, which happens to be the hundredth store opened in Singapore. Starbucks has been phenomenally successful in Singapore, as it has been across Asia. Despite what many of the critics said to Howard Schultz when he first came to Asia, they said that Asians don't drink coffee, they drink tea. And that's what they got wrong. Starbucks is not about coffee. And what I want to explain to you then, if Starbucks is about coffee, you can go and get it cheaper and faster down the road at McDonald's. But look across Asia, the world's largest Starbucks store has just opened in Shanghai. The world's most profitable store is in Tokyo. What's going on? Well, you've got to understand the backstory to these economies. Both Japan and China have seen massive disruption, movement, migration of young people from villages and towns to the cities over the last generation. And they've uprooted from their communities, moved to the big cities in search of places to belong. And that is the Starbucks story. And that's what it means to us as brand marketers, as product marketers, developers, startup owners. You have a choice. You could either sell product or you can sell story. You can sell features or you can sell benefits. And that is the difference between Starbucks and a commodity or a more factory driven brand like McDonald's is that Starbucks isn't about coffee. It sells space. And space appeals to us at the emotional level of our need to belong and fit in. 